Hi, everyone. Let's take a look at number 15 on page 246 for grade 12 data management. 10 students have been nominated for the positions of secretary, treasurer, social convener, and fundraising chair. In how many ways can these positions be filled if the Norman twins are running and plan to switch positions on occasion for fun since no one can tell them apart. Step one, think about the rule of sum. The rule of sum basically means if you want something or something else or something else, you're going to be adding. And the reason why we're applying the rule of sum is because we recognize there are three cases. So let's write them down. Then we'll write down the math. So there are three cases to consider. Case one is going to be both twins are elected. So again, I'm just writing down the cases before we deep dive into the math. If you think about the second case, only one of them, which is only one twin, will be elected. And of course, case three is where none of them, meaning neither twin, is elected. So again, I hope this makes sense because it covers every case possible. So if you add case one, two, and three, this will give you the answer that you're expecting. So again, rule of sum is the thought process. So let's go back. Let's write down the numbers, each case starting with case one. Now, if you think about the number of ways when both twins are elected, right now there are 10 students. So the way you think about these 10 students is that, okay, there are 10 students in total. And really, you can break this down into twins, which represents two students plus eight more. So again, think about 10 students, twins plus eight more. Since both are elected, there's eight students left. So eight choose two. Now, why is that? Because your goal is to choose these four different possible rows. So one, two, three, and four. So again, eight choose two, meaning you need two remaining um, students, or you need two more students from the remaining eight. Now, in general, if there are four people, or factorial. But because nobody can tell the difference between the twins, you divide this as two factorial. Two factorial means there are two identical objects. In this case, in this context, the objects are the twins. Now, if only one of them is elected, this means the other one is not elected. So again, case two means one of them is elected, the other one is not. This implies that out of the remaining eight students, we still need to choose three more. Again, four students, because there's only one twin in these four, it's gonna be four factorial. You do not have to worry about the identical objects. Case number three, if neither twins is elected, this means you have eight remaining students and you have to choose four of them where order matters. Why order matters? Because these are not just choose four different students with four distinct rows. So this is four, which means a permutation four. So again, permutation order matters. Combination order does not matter. So if you think about the total here, again, if you grab the calculator, a permutation four is 1,680. If you think about case two, a choose three times four factorial is gonna be 1,344. In the first case, if you think about a choose two, times four factorial divided by two factorial, that's gonna be 336, which means if you add them up, because using the rule of sum, this is gonna be exactly 336 plus 1,344 plus 1,680, which equals to 3,360 ways. If you find this video meaningful, it's adding value to your math life, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. I hope this makes sense.